What's going on guys, Maddie here, and we are going to talk about some muscle building tips in order to maximize your growth in the gym. So let's get right into it and talk about how we can help you see some gains. Tip number one, focus on your compound lifts. We all wanna do the accessory and isolation movements like the dumbbell curls and tricep kickbacks. Learn how to do the deadlift, the squat, the bench press, the overhead press. Do your weighted chin-ups and pull-ups. Do those compound lifts, focus on the three to eight rep range and get stronger with those and worry about the isolation and accessory work afterwards. All right, point number two, which might sound contradictory to point number one, but focus on some higher rep work as well. Now, obviously, like I said, the compound lifts should be your main focus. Get stronger with those lifts and let that be the base of your foundation, but don't be afraid of the higher rep accessory work either. Don't be scared to go 15, 20, 25 reps on some of your sets. What you'll be doing here is introducing metabolic stress to the body and building up metabolic byproduct, which is another way to help you build muscle and make you be able to work harder and longer in future workouts. Point number three, stop changing your routine. If you are seeing progress, if it's working, don't try and fix it. So I see a lot of people try and do muscle confusion and shock the muscles. That's not going to make your muscles grow. So stop doing deadlifts on the treadmill and squats upside down because the only way to build muscle is progressive overload. You have to get stronger over time, whether that be through increasing your sets, reps, frequency, the amount of weight you're lifting. Somehow you have to be improving in your training sessions. So muscle confusion and shocking the muscles does not work if you're trying to build size. Point number four, increase your frequency a little bit. Stop going in there and trying to bash and crush every single muscle part one time per week. So Monday it's chest day and you hit the chest, you got bench press, incline bench, decline bench, high cable, medium, low cable, we got dumbbell flies, we got one arm pec crossover flies. Stop doing that, you're crushing your muscle but it's not really beneficial if you're only hitting it one time a week. Take advantage of the muscle protein synthesis and increase the frequency a little bit. Hit each muscle group two, or if you're a beginner, three times per week on a full body routine or something like an upper lower. Point number five, give yourself some time to recover. I know we all wanna crush our bodies 24 seven, we love going to the gym, but we need time to repair and rebuild. So aim to get your seven to nine hours of sleep. If possible, shoot for a 15 to 30 minute nap throughout the day, which is extremely beneficial and let your nutrition support your training. Make sure you're taking in adequate calories to support the demand of your training. All right, last point I wanna make here, number six, track your progress. I see way too many people going into the gym doing the same shit over and over and over again and they're just spinning their wheels and they look the same as they did two years ago. They're not increasing, they're not focusing on progressive overload and they go into the gym with a blank mind and just start throwing weights around have a plan when you go into the gym. Either have a plan before you step into that gym or bring a workout log to the gym with you and make sure you're keeping track of what you're lifting so you can have something to look back on to ensure that you're getting stronger. Don't just go in there lifting the same weight day in and day out because you'll just be back to where you started without making any progress. So whether that be through again a journal, a diary, or taking pictures, take progress pictures of what's going on so you can look back at where you started and where you are today. So those are some simple tips for beginners on how to maximize the amount of muscle growth inside of the gym. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, don't forget to click that like button. I appreciate that as always, and it helps the channel grow. And until next time, we'll see you guys all in the next video.